This is question 11 from the 2016 TSA paper. In this question we asked which of the options best expresses the main conclusion of the argument. So let's look at this argument. It says the apostrophe has limited usefulness as a punctuation mark and so it won't be a loss if it disappears altogether from English. So I split this into two sentences, one saying the apostrophe isn't useful because there's a so, we'll split this off as something else. And they say it can't be heard at all in speech that suggests we can make our meaning clear without it. So I'm marking this as a factual statement because uh, it's just pointing out that the apostrophe can't be heard. It says it's already disappearing from business correspondence without any effect. So that's another factual statement. It says the apostrophe is also widely misused, which is another measure of its, of its unimportance. So they're saying it's misused, so it's unimportant. And then they flesh that out with examples. They say many people um, put it in any word ending with an S, like in, for instance, beers or wines or spirits, um, but nobody fails to get the message. So we understand word, words like beers, even though they're an incorrect use of apostrophes. So this is another factual statement, just uh, it, describing how people act. So now let's try to put this in order to figure out which of these parts is going to be the main conclusion. So nowhere in this argument does the writer say anyone should do something. They're not proposing a course of action. But there are facts about how we use apostrophes and then issues arising from that and then the writer's reaction. So I've divided this into fact, problem and reaction. And the facts we've already marked out what could the conclusion be? Well, there's various other things the writer says that aren't facts. So they say the apostrophe is not useful. It's often misused, so it's unimportant. And it's no loss if it disappears. And how can we decide which of these is the main conclusion? Well, a couple of things to note. So firstly, this sentence was immediately supported by this sentence. So they were giving examples of words like beers being used in support of this claim that because it's often misused, it's unimportant. So it looks like this sentence is directly supporting this. Uh, but for instance, this fact isn't supporting this. So it looks like this is more of a statement of the problem. And this is very similar in statement, just saying the apostrophe is not useful, which these are all, these facts do support that. But the way the argument is written, this part of the first sentence immediately is used to conclude this. So this is used to conclude this statement. And therefore this can't be the main conclusion because it's used to support something else. Whereas both of these statements of the problem with apostrophes, that they're not particularly useful, are reasons to believe that it's no loss if it disappears. So it looks like this is the writer's reaction to the problem that's been set up. And it's supported by everything else in the arguments, so that's going to be the main conclusion. Okay, so now let's look at which of the options best expresses that. Okay, so here are my five options, and this is my main conclusion. So we're looking for something that paraphrases this as closely as possible. And we should immediately be drawn to B because it also talks about there being no loss if something happens. It's saying there's no loss if the apostrophe disappears from English punctuation. And that's exactly essentially what the conclusion is saying. So it looks very much like B is going to be the answer. Let's just rule out the other options. A says it doesn't matter if we use the apostrophe right or wrong. Well, this corresponds to other sentences in the argument rather than this main conclusion. So it's not the answer. C says it's especially unneeded in business. So... Uh, that corresponds to one of the facts that was used, but not the main conclusion. D says there's no sound corresponding to the apostrophe. That's the same as for C. And E says we should stop using apostrophes. Well, this isn't something the writer explicitly says. They just say it wouldn't matter if we stopped. This is stronger than what they're saying. So this also isn't the conclusion. So that means the answer here is B.